Hello everybody, it is Gage with Battle Angel Gaming, your favorite channel of, I don't know if your favorite channel of BS, you know, we're just BSing around, you know, central above the left and right political bull crap that you see on the news. Just kidding. I usually don't make... I make commentary videos, yes, but I don't usually make every single little thing that happens like most people do for, you know, because, you know, they do it for ad revenue. I'm not trying to be a content farm, but this needs to be addressed because, oh yeah, I've seen a lot of videos address this situation, but they don't really address some of the roots of it all. But, because I looked and searched, it's like, okay, you're missing a few points. You're missing a few points. We need, I need to, people need to realize it. And this is the whole Rick and Morty thing. But, before we get into it, I'll let you know, I'm not really into Rick and Morty. I, it's hit or miss for me. I don't watch it. Really, I don't really have cable. I don't really watch TV anyway. I just don't find it. 100% funny all the time. I mean, it does have its moments for me. I'm more old school when it comes to stuff like that. But anyways, you know, cancer culture is trying to, you know, cancel it again because of something that happened, you know, what was it, back in 09, when, when comedy was, was still, when things were still funny, you know. But this video about, you know, Dan Harmon, but Apparently molesting the baby doll, that's kind of... Like I said, some things are kind of stupid, really. I mean, that doesn't sound funny. It's just it's just dumb. It's tasteless. I get that. I mean, a lot of stuff, like... A lot of stuff I see on South Park and Family Guy is tasteless. So, but I, st I still like... I'm not really into Family Guy, but I love South Park. So, apparently that happened. It resurfaced. It's like, oh... Dan Harmon's like a pedophile. Oh, Dan Harmon does all this. He's a baby raper. And Dan Harmon does this. We're going to cancel Rick and Morty, man. But, actually, fast forward, I mean, rewind back to 2018. This video, when this video, it surfaced before 2018. And he apologized for it. He took it down as soon as he, he, he uploaded it to, uh, to like some site because it was a it was a parody of the show Dexter and it was that he was going to send it to Showtime or something like that and he sent it and he later re redacted it or retracted it excuse me he's like yeah this is he in 2018 he uh, posted it yeah I'm sorry and this is shouldn't be done and all that good stuff and all the good you know apology you know like yeah, so it should have been didn't and done. But it's happening again. He doesn't need to apologize for it again because, I mean, what's said and done is undone. I mean, you try to cancel, well, you try to cancel something that's good, but twice for the same shit? Honestly, that's stupid. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Whatever, you know. Not that it's the wrong analogy, but you get what I'm saying. But, the point, I didn't see a lot of on YouTube, on other videos, and the point, I am trying to get back at it, but, do you know why Dan Harmon, that video, is put out? was put out in 2018 put out it again try to you know get him cancelled do you know why let me tell you an amazing answer uh, he's, he's against Trump that is the reason why they they're trying to can't that's the reason why someone put this video out because someone on the alt-right put this video on 4chan back in 2018 trying to use cancel culture to cancel it is the alt-right's fault really because one of their big tactics is 
if you don't agree with Trump, you're a pedophile. Hell, that's the basis of this whole QAnon crap that's going around now. If you don't support Trump, you're a pedophile. It's the reason why Tom Hanks is a pedophile. It's the reason why Lady Gaga and Ellen are all pedophiles. Because they they don't support Trump. That is the reason why Dan Harmon is under heat. Because he doesn't support Trump. Which are, to the alt-right, Trump is the second coming of Christ. Okay? I can't stand when people ignore the fact that there is a thing going around and it's, and it's really bad. It's QAnon, alt-right, Nazi crap. He's, we need to put it in. Let me break it down. 2018. Back when... Uh, James Gunn. You know, director of... Slither. Other transgressional horror films back in the day. And more recently... To a bunch of younger kids, he did... Guardians of the Galaxy. Great... Great film. I never actually watched them, but I've seen them like in Infinity Wars and stuff like that. And the writing is, I like, I just love, like, Star Lord and all that. But anyways, he was fired because of, from Disney, because there were some jokes that he wrote in, he put on either Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, whatever was popular back then. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, about jokes about, like, rape and some like you know really dark humor which again long before James Gun- long before Guardians of the Galaxy James Gunn was known for making transgressional horror films like black com black humor I mean he did what's that movie super and stuff like that he's known for transgressional stuff the Guardians of the Galaxy is super tamed compared to the other stuff he does like Slither, it's kind of a, Slither is a dark horror about worms that go up people's butts and infect them. I think, I don't know. But some jokes he said resurfaced in 2018, got him fired. A lot of people defended him, saying that you know this happened a long time ago. He apologized and he said this happened. You know things have changed. You know. You know, nobody, I mean, what I guess everybody thinks what Bob Dylan said was bullshit. Well, he said times they are changing. They do. Times change. One person, and if you play Metal Gear Solid, you know one person can be a hero the next one day and the villain the next day and vice versa. Times change. Times change people. People change time. But, anyways, he said, yeah, people, and then, you know, Disney later reinstated him. They let him finish directing Suicide Squad. Although, you know, WB and Disney, you can't really do DC and Marvel, but they let him finish because he was already halfway working on it. But the reason why those jokes or whatever were brought up to the masses' attention is because he made some comments against Trump. And some... Let me look up the guy's name. This guy... On the alt right, took that as an attack on his Lord and Savior Donald Trump, and uh, Mike Cernovich was the guy. He is uh, I'm reading from Wikipedia. He is a uh, anti-feminist, men's right activist, huh. whatever. It's uh, conspiracy theories. He has been characterized as a part of the alt right. You know, the spawns of Satan. The true cabal that runs this world, okay? But he doesn't describe himself as one. He's anti feminist. He, I, I can't stand when people use the word manosphere. That's, they're, they're, they're like that are usually misogynist. Mm, and. Okay, he is known for promotion of fake news, conspiracy theories, and smear campaigns. He helped spread Pizzagate, which was the whole, which was you know the precursor to QAnon. Uh, he has falsely accused various political opponents of, as being pedophiles. James Gunn made comments against Trump 
and he took this Mike Cernovich took this as an attack and say, hey, this guy supports pedophile pedoph- or whatever. Like, which is a tactic of the alt right. You've seen it. You see it in QAnon. If you don't agree with their Lord and Savior, you're a pedophile. That's it. Dan Harmon was one of those big defenders of James Gunn. And the alt right saw this as an attack, dig up this Daryl plot, put it out there, and say, hey, let's cancel. Let's. Let's get cancel culture to cancel him. Because apparently he's a pedophile. But really it's because he doesn't like Trump. We live in an era of fake news and smear campaigns. Especially used by the alt-right. That is the re- Cancer culture is the disease. Yes, I get it. So is the alt-right. I'm tired of people l- looking at cancer culture. You know, like I said. Wait on. We need to deal with the alt-right as well. They are something that I just can't stand. They're all over YouTube. They use smear campaigns. The biggest one of all is QAnon. Okay? Then you have all these little YouTubers, Corlin, Geeks Gamers, who use these smear campaigns. Who are racist, misogynistic, and all kinds of other... Prejudice, whatever. Prejudice. Yeah, cancer culture is bad. So is the alt-right. We need more people focusing on the alt-right. Again, I am not a liberal. I know people. if people see this video, oh, you're just an SJW. I am not. I am on social things. I am on the left. On economic things, I'm on the right. I'm really a libertarian. I'm certain. Like I always say, I'm above and beyond the spectrum. But that's me. We need to focus on the alt-right because that is the problem. That is the real cancer. Cancer culture will just be there. We can try. We've done it before, but the alt-right is scary. Cancer culture is just going to, like, cancel something. Really not. It's just going to be, like, okay. But the alt-right is scary. They're going to accuse all everybody of being pedophiles just because they don't like Trump, who to them is God in flesh. It's a real talk about the cult. The cult is alt-right. They are the cult. Using deflection. That is the best weapon. You know what they always say, the, the best trick the devil ever has, well, they usually say is to um, convince you that the devil doesn't exist. But the other one is to convince you that the other guy's the devil. But anyways, that's what I think about it. What do you think about the alt-right? I mean, Leave your comments below. Leave them clean, please. Because if you promote alt-right, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Anyways, follow me on Twitch. Y'all have a good day. Like and subscribe this video. If you want to see more, subscribe. Like it. Get this up in the algorithm. Pump it up. Anyways, y'all have a good one.